Hello, I'm Entrism and welcome to Let's Play Deluvion. Deluvion is a survival game set in a submarine where the world is just all underwater and you've got to go around, you've got to try and figure out what's going on, and of course you've got to not run out of air, get your ship crushed, get your ship shot too much, not run out of food, not run out of scrap, this is a good old fashioned underwater survival game, and it's actually kind of pretty. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a let's play, see how it goes, and uh, probably not die, although it's me, we're gonna die. So, new game! Enter your name. Miss you. There we go. Begin! Hello, my child. Come and sit with me. I'd like to tell you a story. One that I used to read to your mother, oh, so long ago, when she was about your age. Go on then, tell me the story. Once, long ago, before the waters of the world closed up around humanity, the earth was covered in dry land as vast as the ocean is deep. Ooh, pretty. No child went without food. The people were happy, and their world contained wonders and technology that we only see. Something, something, I'm too slow at talking. However, there was darkness within the hearts of man. Women were fine. Ooh. There was a group who, being not content with the miracles they possessed, sought to dominate others, and soon war broke out across the world. As punishment for their sins, the gods sent down the Calamity, which wiped out the land-dwelling animals and sunk the earth deep beneath the waves. Got a funky art style, I kind of dig it. But all was not lost. I mean, for the people there, probably is. Just saying. The last god, who believed that mankind should be given a second chance, hid a gift in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. And she said to mankind, Whoever reaches the end of the endless corridor and brings back my gift, if he or she be deserving something something else. And this is why adventurers seek out the endless corridor, though they know not what it holds, whether it be treasure or knowledge or power. The life we know will be irrevocably changed when it is discovered. Oh, right, so I get to select the ship. We get the, uh, the Glacium Mark VI Diamond, which is a fast ship. The Iron Minnow, which is basically your all-rounder. And the Mariana, which is a shooty-shooty ship. It also has torpedoes. Ooh. But it's slow. I'm gonna go with the fast ship, just because I like the idea of the fast ship. Diluvion. That's a nice load screen. Which way's forwards? Hello, so welcome to Diluvion. So W and S change throttle. Look, we're underwater. It's so pretty. Okay. All ahead full.
Just don't hit anything. I mean, obviously we hit a little bit of, like, vegetation type stuff there. While moving, your ship will navigate towards the reticule. Use A and D to turn quickly. Also, amusingly enough, it is Q and E to go up and down. That's actually what I need to know right now, because we're coming up against, like, this thing over here. Ah! Down, 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 down. Woohoo! One of your crew members wants to talk to you. Press V to view the inside of your... Okay. J. Treadvasa. A bar! Oh, wait, no, no. You should be like a pirate. Arr, what should we do, Jay? Oh, that's me. What should we do, Jay? We've been out here looking for salvage all day and haven't had any luck. Let's stop at that bar and regroup over some hard grog. I approve. Hard grog sounds fun. I mean, grog is literally like watered down beer. So I assume hard grog is beer. Okay. Navigation. The golden fish shall set the flock to those striving for a goal. Use them to navigate to your destination. Okay. Um, B to go out. Right, and that down there is the place we're going for. So. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, that's a cool little sub there. And reel ourselves in. We are Doctor of the Bar! It looks like one of those like little droids out of um Star Wars. Like the little the probe droids that like go to half. And for some reason, a lot of people here look like very camp Nazis. What's the plan? I didn't think it's time to expand the crew. Don't get me wrong. What do I have to get a decent drink in this dump? Pia Tab, you scrounge. Yeah, I know I'm good for it. Your scraps can't fall apart, boy. There's wrecks on the seafloor that's more reliable than your ship. Do not look out your port, old man. I've got a brand new sub. He, his accent changes every time. Sorry. Courtesy of Hasley. Find out more about Hasley. Okay. Can you tell me more about Hasley? John Hasley's part of this vehicle engineering guild. If you can get him to help you, he'll get you down a thousand meters. Give or take a catfish's whisker. Before I forget, you can find Hasley near Tonnersburg. Just remember you owe me one. Oh, the name's Daniel Ariton. Nice to meet you. Arr, a thousand meters. You're looking to get a new sub anyway. You'll be able to dive that far to be an added bonus. Don't forget, we can only go down to 200 meters at the moment. Okay, so don't go down beyond 200 meters or we all die. Gotcha. Oh, that is a gigantic fish. And we're going to need a crew. Why don't you see if anyone here is looking for a job? You are the bartender. Who's Hasley? He's a loon with too much time on his hands. Don't see any difference on the sub site's name. Man, what do you know? You can't even read. Now he's American. Yeah, whatever. House of the Genius. No, a legendary mechanic. And the sub that he made is going to get me all the way down to a thousand meters. No sweat. Wait, so he's just like bollocking about the thousand meters. He's going to die. Okay, down to a thousand meters. All right, but not alive. Okay. What about you? Hi. Thirsty patron. The grog here is so bad, I might be drinking my own piss. Come to think of it, I did drink my own piss once. What an engine in the deal. Hmm... Lab's adventurer. Ooh, do you want to join up for more adventuring? Bruises and grog, we don't ask what goes in it. Oh, okay. Um, what about you? You look interesting. Got a party hat on. No? Board retiree. There's someone in here every week saying the same thing. Treasures, treasures that in my day we had the dreams beat out of us and we were glad for what we got given. Okay, what about you, Camp Nazi? Oh! Will you join my crew? Seems like the best of it is over. Sure. I'll hop in your junker, so long as you keep me fed. I mean, I assume that he's kind of got that mad look to him. Uh, yeah, I'll hire you for five gold? One, one, one. Eh. Yeah, but cool. You hired. Guess we're done here. Let's head west. Okay, which way's west? That way is west. 
I'm gonna have to pull away from the station first. I really like this. This compass is pretty... I mean, it's gonna say pretty cool, but I'm just gonna go with it. It's pretty. It's really nice and thematic. I like it. Put that sailor to use. Okay, let's put that sailor to use. Leave him in the crew quarters and he'll repair any damage. But personally, I'd like him in my helm. Yeah, you would. Uh, right, so we can add him there. So we get a bonus to strength, overdrive, and engine power and endurance. I think. Oh, no, wait. He'll, like, get more strength and endurance over time or something? I don't know. Either way, he's now in the helm. Whoa! Dive! I may be doing this a little bit fast. Oh, my air tank's getting low. Docker Town's an outpost to refill your air tank. Uh, I guess we should go fast then. Running out of air, running out of air. Finding an outpost is going to be... Done just by my hair. I need to work on my rhyming. What depth are we at? 65? Ah, oh, we got plenty left. Plenty! Okay, where's the next, like, place we can dock? Mines! Mines! What do we do about the mines? Hope you didn't have too much to drink, Captain. We're gonna have to move around them. Or you could use a new gunner. Okay, um... What? Whoa! A bounty hunter's jail. What about it? If we want to, ah, right, if we want to refill our crew, we're gonna have to get creative. Maybe we can hire some crew on the cheap here. There we go. Got to do the voices. I mean, what's the point otherwise? All right, bounty hunter's jail it is. So pretty with the fluorescent fish. Do 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 do. And harpoon win. Giant fish. Giant fish. Uh huh. Ooh, gunner officer. What are you in for? Hey, there's been a teeny mix-up. What do you know? They shoved me in this cage. Could you help me out here? No, talking to the prisoner. Look, you gotta help me. They've got me in here on false charges, and now they want to execute me. Our damn woman is trouble. What? Oh, did you ever see that? I'm absolutely gonna show you what I'm made of. When you hey means you gotta. I've been blowing stuff up since I was three years old. I mean it. No talking. Oh, look what you know. I, I picked the lock while you distract the guard. Thanks to the cover, Captain. Hey, she's trying to escape. What are you waiting for? Run. Just get away. Stop them. Uh, yeah, we'll hire you. I think. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Move. Move fast. Use left mouse to fire bolts. I mean, or I could just run. Are we safe? Looks like we're safe. Each shot we take costs a scrap, and I don't really want to waste my scrap. So let's uh let's keep going. We seem to be out of danger. I mean, the music doesn't think we're out of danger. Oh, uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Woo! That was the only passage into Tonna's Fjord. Unless... If we dive down, we have to get through the damned part of the gate. The damaged part of the gate, I mean, it's damned as well, probably. Awfully close to our crush death, though. Keep an eye on that death meter. Okay, so we've got to dive. That looks like a long way down. Okay. 
Oh, we're at 180. Hundred ninety. Oh, mines. Just gonna keep an eye out for the mines. One hundred ninety-five. Oh my god, that ice is so. One hundred ninety. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Maybe we can like just skirt the edge of the ice. 197 198 199 200 Get through fast, get through fast 204 Woo! It's more sort of a guideline Someone's in trouble Ooh. What do we do? What else? Dark and rescue. <laughs> I mean, of course, what else would we do? Loot them. Also refills our air tank, so that's great. Sonar officer, Gregory Hudson. You need to leave now. You sure it's okay for me to catch a lift? <laughs> that was not the voice I was going for, it just came out that way. Whatever. I guess we've now got a sonar officer. The new recruits. The boy never says anything except to apologize. The girl never shuts up. And the rest of the crew don't more than mumble. If we make it to the end of Skarda, it'll be a miracle. I mean, that's because, like, you know, no one ever makes it through to the end of Skarda, but whatever. Cool. You know what? I'll take... I don't need extra engine power and stuff. I'm already in a fast ship. I'm going to take you away. I'm going to put you on. Gunner? Yeah, why not? Ooh, ooh, is this the end? Sweet. Hold X and release to ping. Research capsule. Ooh, some things over there, although there's a lot of guns. Uh, not guns, sorry, mines. And there's a beacon up here. Okay, let's, let's go up and have a look at this beacon. Hello there, little beacon keeper. Do you know about sonar? What can you tell me about Sonar? I was gonna go for an American accent, like a terrible one. I'm a Sonar journeyman. I've always been listening for contacts, and when I hear a signature, I'll mark it on your head. The thing is, I can't hear very far. That makes me a terrible Sonar operator. That's where the Sonar ping comes in. Send out a ping and it will greatly increase my hearing range. The more you charge a ping, the more you'll be able to hear. For contacts I have a better read on, I can even put my targeting lead for you, if they're in range of your guns. Okay. Alright, let's go dock with Beacon Keeper. Feeding your crew. Make sure you keep an eye on the food available for your sub. If you run out of food, your sailors will leave the stations, leaving your sub without stat bonuses. So, not die. Okay, that sounds better than, you know, dying. Oh, there's a fight going on over there. Ooh, stuff. <gasps> Air tank and a map. I will take all of those. So now I've got two air tanks, so we can go like twice as far. <laughs> beacon keeper, where's Tonnesburg? Follow the beacons, they'll take you straight to Tonnesburg. Okay, anything else in here? No, that's it. Okay. Well, I guess this is probably a good place to end this episode. So, um, I'm looking for feedback in particular about what you think about Deluvion. Um, if you like it, like, not subscribe, consider subscribing, but feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. Uh, if you do, you know, comment down below is helpful. If you want to, you know, see more of this uh, series, if you like the game, 
always good to have that feedback. But uh, until next time, I've been Eterosium. We are not like a thousand leagues under the sea. We're about 140 meters or whatever at the moment. It's a lot better than that 205. I was worrying we were going to get like destroyed there. I was like, are we just going to any time now? But I guess they wouldn't push us too hard and tutorial bit. But uh, I was concerned. Until next time. Step up your crush depth and stay shiny.